two contracts of von Sascher Massach. Contract between Mrs. Fanny von Pister and Leopold von Sascher Massach. On his word of honor, Mr. Leopold von Sascher Massach undertakes to be the slave of Mrs. von Pistor and to carry out all her wishes for a period of six months. On her behalf, Mrs. von Pister shall not demand anything of him that would dishonor him in any way, as a man or as a citizen. Moreover, she shall allow him six hours a day for his personal work and shall never look at his letters and writings. On the occurrence of any misdemeanor or negligence or act of les majeste, the mistress, Fanny von Pister, may punish her slave, Leopold von Sacher Massach, in whatever manner she pleases. In short, the subject shall obey his sovereign with complete servility and shall greet any benevolence on her part as a precious gift. He shall not lay claim to her love, nor to any right to be her lover. On her behalf, Fanny von Pister undertakes to wear furs as often as possible, especially when she is behaving cruelly. Later deleted. At the end of the six months, this period of enslavement shall be considered by both parties as not having occurred, and they shall make no serious allusion to it. Everything that happened is to be forgotten, and the previous loving relations restored. These six months need not run consecutively. They may be subject to interruptions beginning and ending according to the whims of the sovereign lady. We, the undersigned, hereby confirm this contract. Fanny Pister Baganau, Leopold Knight of Sasher Massog, came into operation 8th December 1869. Contract between Wanda and Sasher Massach. My slave. The conditions under which I accept you as my slave and tolerate you at my side are as follows. You shall renounce your identity completely. You shall submit totally to my will. In my hands you are a blind instrument that carries out all my orders without discussion. If ever you should forget that you are my slave and do not obey me implicitly in all matters... I shall have the right to punish and correct you as I please, without your daring to complain. Anything pleasant and enjoyable that I shall grant you will be a favor on my part, which you must acknowledge with gratitude. I shall always behave faultlessly toward you, but shall have no obligations to do so. You shall be neither a son, nor a brother, nor a friend. You shall be no more than my slave groveling in the dust. Your body and your soul too shall belong to me. And even if this causes you great suffering, you shall submit your feelings and sentiments to my authority. I shall be allowed to exercise the greatest cruelty, and if I should mutilate you, you shall bear it without complaint. You shall work for me like a slave, and although I may wallow in luxury, whilst leaving you in privation and treading you underfoot, you shall kiss the foot that tramples you without a murmur. I shall have the right to dismiss you at any time but you shall not be allowed to leave me against my will. And if you should escape, you hereby recognize that I have the power and the right to torture you to death by the most horrible methods imaginable. You have nothing save me. For you, I am everything, your life, your future, your happiness, your unhappiness, your torment, and your joy. You shall carry out everything I ask of you, whether it is good or evil. And if I should demand that you commit a crime, you shall turn criminal to obey my will. Your honor belongs to me, as does your blood, your mind, and your ability to work. Should you ever find my domination unendurable, and should your chains ever become too heavy, you will be obliged to kill yourself, for I will never set you free. I undertake, on my word of honor, to be the slave of Mrs. Wanda Von Dunajew, in the exact way that she demands, and to submit myself without resistance to everything she will impose on me. Dr. Leopold, Knight of Sascher Massach, quoted by Schlick de Grohl, Sascher Massach und der Masochismus, and by Kraft Ebbing, Psychopathia Sexualis.